Good day to everyone. My name is Nicole and here are my team, Trisha, Merle, Shirelle, Carmela, Nikki, and we are your tour guides. We will be touring you around the University of Baguio wherein it was founded by educators Dr. Fernando Tatay Bautista and his wife, Mrs. Rosa Nanay Bautista. Tatay and Nanay put up the institution with the goal of helping to rebuild the nation from the rubbles of the Second World War on August 8, 1948. Tatay and Nanay put up the institution with the goal of helping the nation from the rubbles of Second War on August 8, 1948 as the Baguio Technical and Commercial Institute with 80 students. Then, in 2000, the student population population was about 18,000 students in its tertiary, secondary, and primary levels. In 2009, UB was granted as an autonomous status for three years by the Commission on Higher Education or CHED on March 11, becoming the non-secretarian university in CAR to be granted such. Constantly abreast with the latest trends in its various fields of specialization, UB prepares its students for the ever-competitive world of work that awaits them after college. Good day! I'm Princess Trisha Mariel Cruz and I will continue to discuss the history of University of Baguio. Its competent faculty, cutting-edge facilities, harmonious family culture, healthy campus politics, and wholesome inter-school competitions perfectly complement the cool climate of the country's summer capital, making learning fun and worthwhile. University of Baguio offers over 50 degree and non-degree programs. The University of Baguio welcomes students from all walks of life, races, and beliefs. Through its more than six decades of existence, University of Baguio has nurtured generations of students from Baguio City. In December 4, 2020, Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation Conference Level 3 reaccredited status to three programs, BS Tourism Management, High School and the Science High School. The three programs were accorded the distinction of being the first to have been granted level 3 reaccredited status in the Cordillera Administrative Region. These accomplishments and achievements of the University of Baguio once more testify to the University of Baguio's unwavering commitment to quality and wholesome education. Good day, my dear Chris. So before we proceed to our tour, let me remind you to wear your mask and face shield upon entering the University of Baguio. So our first stop is the UP Square Building, a building of the University of Baguio and also houses some commercial establishments, such as School of Law that is located at the ground floor and the School of Information Technology at the second floor. Then we also have the MIS or the Management Information System that commits itself to provide innovative, quality, and sustainable ICT solutions. Next is the Payroll Office, which assists new employees for their requirements and etc. Next is the Office of Student Affairs that offers a comprehensive range of programs and activities that caters to the needs of the student. The next one is the cashier. It collects school fees and other payments due to the school. Next is the clinic, which provides first aid for illness and injuries. And the other establishments found here are the food court, computer shop, salon, and other businesses. So let us now proceed to our next destination, which is the UB Main Building, which basic high education to UB High School is located. 
And for the last one is the UB Cardinals Gym. It is a 3,500-seat gymnasium with basketball court. It is also where the Admissions and Records Center is located. In RCB building, what you can see there is the School of Dentistry, which is located in the third floor, the School of Natural Sciences, which is in the fourth floor, and the medical and dental clinic is also located in that building. Likewise, the university cafeteria where you can buy foods. Uh, there is a 7-Eleven, convenience stores, and uh, school supplies. In FB Building, the School of International Hospitality and Tourism Management is located in the basement and also the swimming pool. The School of Nursing is in the third floor. The School of Criminal Justice and Public Safety is located in the eighth floor. And the Human Resource and Management Center and Library is located also in the building. The UB Laboratory and Elementary School is located in the Kindergarten Building and the UB Science High School and the Satellite Clinic is located in the Science High School Building. Centennial Building is where you can find the School of Engineering and Architecture which is located in the basement and the School of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences which is located in the second floor and also the Media Affairs and Publications and the School of Business Administrations and Accountancy, which is located in the third floor, and the graduate schools, which is located in the fourth floor, and last is the School of Teacher Education, which is in the third, fifth floor. SIHTM Sadarak Bar is where the future baristas train and in showcasing their skill. Cafe Fernando, it is where special activities of SIHTM takes place like meetings and seminars. SIHTM Research Room, a perfect area to do some research activities. Onyx Travel and Tour Simulation Room, it gives students the opportunity to learn and enhance their capability in travel and tourism. Moving forward to the front office simulation area where the SIHTM students practice the proper way of giving services to the clients as a front officer. Next is the SIHTM Deluxe Room, Superior Room, and the Junior Suite Room. It is where the students who are taking the course International Hotel and Business Operations or the BSHM IHBO for them to practice their housekeeping skills. Next is the Tour Guiding Laboratory Simulation Room. It is the best place to enhance the knowledge and skills about tour guiding. Next is the Kitchen Laboratory. It is where the students who are taking the course of Professional Culinary Arts or the BSHM PCA take their classes and do their on-hand cooking skills or then end the or the napkin folding and the culinary techniques. Last is the SIHTM Computer Laboratory. It is where the students who take their classes that needs to use the computer, computer like the TPC 105 or the applied tools and technologies and the TMSS 101, the foreign language tree and many more. 